Go up, it's about Mr. Lex representing for Black Barbie. And you know, so she's a real friend. Big up on a friend from you know, so your friend from his friend to your friend. Wicked! Yeah, man, I'm Roman Virgo represent for Black Barbie. And keep it locking on. Don't move, see? I'm Italian with a strong one and you're locked into DJ Black Barbie. Yeah, don't know, this is the girl, the angel, representing for Black Barbie. Don't get it twisted. DJ Black Barbie, big up yourself, Chris Martin and Darcy. But as I mentioned to you guys earlier, we have a very special guest uh, today. Ricardo Durant, of course, he is an invest, investment promotions manager at the Jamaican promotion corporation, Jampro, where he is responsible for promoting investment in the manufacturing, energy and mining for Jamaica. Today, Mr. Durant will be talking to us about the Expo Jamaica 2023, the largest and most impactful exhibition and trade show of its kind in the Caribbean yes which is taking place in Kingston Jamaica on April the 27th to the 30th at the National Indoor Sports Center National Arena Mr. Durant how are you doing I'm fine thank you Bobby and I'm, I'm good good afternoon to your listeners yes there's just one quick correction let me just say that I'm really the export manager uh, responsible for Expo Jamaica um, on, on, on for bio recruitment for, for Expo Jamaica 2023. But that's fine. I still work with Jampro. I'm representing Jampro. Okay, okay. No problem, no problem. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the Expo Jamaica. What is it and who is expected to participate? Expo Jamaica is held every two years at the National Arena and Indoor Sports Center. It's one of the largest expositions in the English speaking Caribbean, where we bring over 300 suppliers and over 600 buyers together to talk business. And in addition to that, we have over 20,000 consumers visiting the show on the, uh, uh, over the two days, uh, over two and a half days, when it's open to the public. So Expo Jamaica will be staged on, from April 27 to April 30. So we will start Thursday at 10 o'clock, and Thursday and Friday are, are dedicated days for buyers. And we have invited buyers from all over the world, many of whom are coming from the United States, and we are happy for that, and, and, and also the Caribbean. And so these buyers and these sellers will get a chance to, to discuss business, Bobby. Yeah. And that's what we want. They, 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 they will talk about business, how they can get Jamaican products so that our people in the United States can get those products, our ackee and our breadfruit, and our, all the things that we love. Mm. Um, so, so Thursday and Friday are dedicated days, not open to the public, because you get a chance to discuss business on those days no, with no disturbance from the public. Then on Friday evening, it's open to the public. And oh. so the general public can just come in and see what's on exhibition. And, um, and it goes all the way up to 10 or 10 p.m. on Sunday. Nice, nice. So, I so mm -hmm. yeah. So this, the, theme, yeah, go ahead. the theme for this year event is connecting the world to Jamaica. So can you talk to us about that and which organizations are actually involved with the event? Oh, my gosh, yes. Several organizations are involved. We have the Jamaica um, Jampro, of course. We are, we are partnering with the, the, um, with the, the JMEA, Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association. Mm. Um, JPS, Jamaica Public Service Company, Bank of Nova Scotia, the National Commercial Bank, CNW Business, Access, Access Financial, CB Group, the CB Chicken, Continental Bacon, um, Vicinco, so, so those are some of the major sponsors. Other sponsors are like uh, Rainforest Seafoods. And the, the biggest sponsor of all is the Ministry of Investment, Industry, and Commerce. What my minister likes to call the business ministry. Senator Arbin Hill, Senator the Honorable Arbin Hill, who is the Minister of Industry, Investment, and Commerce, has rebranded the ministry, the ministry to, to look at business, to, to develop business in Jamaica. Of course, with a strong focus on export. Mm. As he has said, if you don't export, 
you really can't grow your business or you can't grow your country as you should. If you want to become a first world country, if you want to be rich, mm -hmm. that's, we have to grow exports. That is what this is about. And helping to, helping to grow exports. Most definitely. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So for, for the people that are not familiar and never heard of, you know, Expo Jamaica, um, can you actually explain to our listeners what is actually the purpose of Expo and how does it actually work so that, you know, any entrepreneurs that is currently listening can participate on the next event or if they are traveling to Jamaica? Okay, so what we would want them to do, so at least you... If as someone is listening in the United States, they are the wholesaler, retailer, they buy Jamaican products, they are a distributor. Mm -hmm. All they need to do is go on the Expo Jamaica website, sign up, register as a buyer. There's a drop down link, register as a buyer, tell, tell us about your business, and very likely you will be accepted. Then now you come to Jamaica, we'll print a badge for you. And you can enter the arena, and you can um, and it, okay. Also on the website, you can look who are the exhibitors, and this is now where the fire days are very important because you get a chance to actually meet with senior persons within the company, so the, to the, to discuss business. So the senior persons in the company will be on spot. Um, and of course, there's a wide variety of products that will be on display. Fresh produced products, process agri agri um, agricultural products, furniture, bedding, chemicals, you name it, um, chemical products, you name it. There is going to be a wide variety of products because Jamaica doesn't have as many industries like um, the United States. Mm -hmm. But of course, we have enough where, where persons are interested in our foods and in some of the unique products that we make. And so there's also going to be a to the world platform where our new products will be on display. There'll be taste testing, uh, that sort of thing. And there's a kiddie zone where if someone is bringing down, if they bring your children, they can go in the kiddie zone, they can just have a good time while you tour the arena and the sports center. This show has grown so large over the years. Mm -hmm. That we started out just in the national arena, and we have had to now incorporate in the actual indoor sports center, which has much more capacity to allow more exhibitors to, to come to board. Nice, nice. And I have to say congratulations on that because we, we definitely need the attention and we need for Jamaica to be able to, you know, trade with the world, um, you know, and, uh, you know, be a part of the market, like you said, for other countries, you know, they are stable with it. But for Jamaica, we need to get there, especially when it comes to our exporting. Um, so I, I love, love, love that. So tell us, how is the Jamaican diaspora being engaged right now? We are actually just exactly like you are doing. Mm. We um, have reached out to several radio stations in the USA, and we have been doing some direct targeting and also social media campaigns. So we, we look at that list, we, we get a based on our database and other databases that we utilize. We see where, um, and there, there, there's a tar target market. We look for distributors send them emails, inviting them to come on down to the show. So far, we have registered 550 buyers, 250 of whom are from the various countries in the world. Mm -hmm. And the other 250 plus are from Jamaica. Because, hey, not all Jamaicans know about the new products that are coming out or, you know, all, all Jamaican um, producers, all, all Jamaican distributors, or retailers, or wholesalers. Mm -hmm. So we also include them, we also include the hotel sector. Because as you know, if you sell to the hotel sector, it's as if you are exporting. Right. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, of course, the person come down, they consume our products. So we ensure that we reach out to them, and they have been coming on board. And so we have a, we have a good list of buyers that we can and the exhibitors and suppliers can do business.
Okay. So who, who are the buyers, actually? And, and where are they coming from? If you could elaborate on that. All right. So the buyers... Okay. So so many countries that we have signed up. Um, it's I, I'm going to tell you in a short while. They are... Several of them are from the Antigua, Barbados, Bahamas, um, the Costa Rica, Grenada, Georgia, uh, um, Diana, of course, USA. USA is usually huge numbers. We have over 90 buyers from the United States already. U.S. Virgin Islands, the British Virgin Islands. Um, we have we have, Asma, we have Oman, and believe it or not, we have about four buyers coming in from Ghana. Nice. So the, the African continent is being represented. Mm. So, yes, we, we have a good mix, very good mix of buyers coming on, coming in from all over the world, 30 countries, as, as I mentioned before. Wow. And this, of course, is, is, is great for Jamaica, you know, because we, we need it. Uh, we tend to focus, as you mentioned, you distribute, of course, to the hotels, which we know tourism is a big part of the economy, you know, so it's the best way, of course, to promote and, you know, get people interested in the product. So I have to say, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you guys are actually doing this. And of course, hopefully, you know, uh, you know, more countries as it continue to get big, of course, it definitely help our homeland, Jamaica. So I have to tell us a little bit about what the schedule of the activities are for each day. So those that are, you know, right. looking forward to attend can understand how it will um, unfold. Certainly. So let me, let me just give you the schedule now. So on the first day, on the uh, um, we open to the public. Not sorry, open on the buyer day on Thursday, April twenty-seven. We open for business at ten a.m. to five p.m. That's when the buyers will get a chance to meet with the supplier. Then on Friday, April twenty-eight, that's repeated, ten a.m. to five p.m. On Thursday, April twenty-seven, we have an opening party. Um, mainly for buyers and um, suppliers, so that they get a feel and, of Jamaican culture, and um, you know, you know, we, we can we love to party. We love to have a good time. Our hospitality is great, nice. so the buyers are in, in, invited, and there's an opening ceremony also on Friday, on Thursday. Sorry, at five from five thirty p.m. to seven p.m. After the opening ceremony, that's when we get into the party from 7.30 p.m. to 12, to 12 noon, 12 midnight. We're not going to go past midnight. <laughs> <laughs> right. Then now uh, on the public days, we open to the public on Friday evening from 5 to 10 p.m. We open to the public on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Also, the strictly public, all the public are invited at on Sunday, April 30, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., they uh, get open to the public. And um, uh, during, the, during, during the, 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 um, the event, there are various things that are happening. The To The World platform, where we showcase new products, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. That's on Saturday between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m., and also on Sunday from 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. So... What will happen, many of the manufacturers will, will showcase some of the things that they are producing. All right. And then there's also a booth competition that's taking place. So they want to make sure your booth look good and so on. Very attractive to buyers and consumers. So the booth competitions will, will be taking place through the event. And then there'll be a booth award ceremony on Sunday. And uh, those are some of the exciting things nice nice so it's just gonna be uh days of pure enjoyment <laughs> you guys would be yes it, to... it, mm -hmm. yes it usually is it usually is a real good good event i all the while i, I look forward to it i am trying to ever miss an expo because it's always so impressive when you go and you see many of the products that are being produced by jamaicans it's really impressive. And what we have done this time also, well, we started last time in 2018. We were going to do it again in 2020, but then COVID hit. We have a, a special section 
what we call a village, the Jamaica Emerging Market, um, Jamaica Emerging Manufacturing Manufacturing and Services Village, the GEMS Village, the GEMS uh, acronym. Mm. So you'll be able to see the new manufacturers that are coming on stream and some of the innovative products that they will have. And of course, who to tell? They may be able to attract investment opportunities also. Because if, if somebody sees this, this something as a way, we can scale this. We can scale this up. Mm. Why not? We'll have a discussion with, 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 uh, with a potential investor. But the, the primary purpose is to, is for, to showcase the product for purchase. Nice, nice. So again, just in case you're just tuning in to One Love Radio, we have live on the phone line with us right now, Ricardo Durant. Of course, he's an investment promotion manager. We are talking about Expo Jamaica that is scheduled to take place next week, April the 27th to the 30th. So again, if you're going to be in Jamaica, of course, we'd love for you guys to go out and show your love and support. Of course, when it is open to the patrons, <laughs> but um, you guys yeah. could definitely go and register on their website. So tell us, uh, you know, what is the admission cost for them to actually get in? Okay, right. So on the public days, as I mentioned, which we start on Friday evening from 10 from 5 p.m., there's 1,500 Jamaican dollars for adults and $500 for children. Okay. Not not very expensive at all. Not at all. Not at all. And and where can the patrons actually get their tickets to buy? Oh sure, yes. You can and you can purchase your ticket online. If you just Google exportjamaica.com.jm, um you can go on uh, Expo Jamaica twenty twenty three. You you can go online. There is uh if you want to drop down if you can purchase your tickets there. Uh you'll get your receipt. And when you go to the national arena, you pick up your armband and voila, you're there. You can enter the, the, the arena and just begin your journey from there. Nice, nice. And of course, like you said, it's going to be a very eventful event. Uh, yes, it is a trade show. Of course, it's Expo Jamaica and you are sure to have a great time as well as being educated and can also make it a very lucrative networking event okay so again we want to make sure that we get some buyers of course support in jamaica so i'm curious can you tell us a little bit about some of the products that you're going to be featuring uh this year in terms of innovations okay many of those what our one of our major sponsors true shake has come onto the market with a new product um, it's, it's really an, an, a health energy drink. So it's a meal replacement drink, um, which they will pack with minerals and vitamins. And um, so that will be on display. It will also be on the, the, the To The World platform. Um, Walker's Wood, which is also a premier brand, a good, very strong brand, well known for jerk, will also be coming out with new products. So several exhibitors are coming out with new products. I, I must say I don't remember all of them now, but yes, there are some exciting products that are coming out. Those two I, I remember. Okay, all right. So all you guys have to do is just uh, log on, of course, on their Instagram page and, of course, the website, Expo Jamaica, and uh, make sure that you guys, uh, you know, participate. You know, um, I'm sure that you can tell a family, tell a friend, uh, so that they could just come out and just enjoy the festivities when it is open to the public. And as you know, when it comes to Jamaica, it is very innovative. Uh, you know, they are creating uh, wonderful products. You know, we have to give big shout out to the farmers out there that are creating pumps, you know, water pumps that is really making a change. So we need the backing, as we'd say, but they are the buyers. So we need people to spread the word, share so that, you know, we can get all of this experience exposure and of course uh you know make it be lucrative for our country jamaica and i love 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 the fact of course that you guys are having this trade show and bringing the products to the world but we need them to come yeah and, and bobby mm -hmm. I, I must also mention i uh, usually spoke about products mm -hmm. blue mountain coffee will be there um a, a lot of um food ground provisions will be there 
Rada, there is a, a Rada village, which, which basically is about fresh produce. Mm -hmm. And so persons will be able to buy their fruits and their yams and, you know, all of those um, things that, that, we, that, you know, Jamaicans like. We, 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 can't, we, we can't leave us out, right? Exactly. So breadfruit, all of those things that will be there. And of course, there are manufactured products too. So it's going to be a very, very exciting and interesting mix. There's pepper jelly. Um, the shampoo, it's, it is so wide. In fact, there is a company, Herbu Shampoo, that has made a product that could actually be registered as a kind of medical product um, for your for your scalp by the FDA. Wow. It's actually going through that process now. And it's, um, it's, a, it's just a really lovely product. So there, I tell you, there are lots of things to learn um, about and just really you know, consume. Right, right, most definitely. And uh, I know we, we spoke about it earlier, but uh, boots are still available for purchase right now if anyone is actually interested. Okay, at this time, we are completely full in terms of boots. Okay. Um, but buyers, buyers can register and they can come and look and, you know, talk to the suppliers. But we are full, we are uh, maximum, we are full right now. Okay, okay, no worries. Mm -hmm. so you got your restaurants, you need some real, real yum <laughs> for cooking there. Ex exactly, sure you guys exactly. Yes. Exactly. In fact, the minister has said, mm -hmm. we have had such a growth in yam production last year. If I remember, it was close to 30% growth in yam production. And many of that is being exported. Of, of course, you know, Jamaica is the white yam, and um, yellow, yam, yellow, yellow yam are the best in the world. Yes. We know that. <laughs> you know, it's, a, yeah. it, it's been backed by, by you saying both, you know, <laughs> and the yam. <laughs> right. We'll have to go. Break. There you go. <laughs> we'll That's <get>. true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. We know that. We know that. Yes. <laughs> All yes. Right. So, um, you know, so can you tell us um, about some of your partners and sponsors for Expo this year? Just so, you know, for our listeners to... You know, and give some uh, credits and acknowledgement to. Right. So our title sponsor is of my our parent ministry, our Jampers Parent Ministry, Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce, the the Business Ministry, and um, participating sponsors are Jampro, the Jamaica Public Service Company, Bank of Nova Scotia, Jamaica Limited, the National Commercial Bank. CNW Business, Access, Access Financial Services Limited, and of course, CB Group. Um, JPS is, is back as the official energy partner. They have, um, they're paying for the cost of the energy, the power at the national arena, and that is tremendous, I must tell you. Tremendous. CB Group is back on board as the official crude code partner. The Sinko has committed to be the official beverage sponsor. Um, CMW Business has committed to be the official telecommunications partner. So, you know, when you, you get your Wi-Fi in the arena, that's very important. Um, Expo Jamaica has partnered with workers who provide condiments. Their line of products will ensure the great taste of food. And there's rainforest seafoods, national baking company, as I said before, CB Pan Chicken, Caribbean Passions, Bad Dogs, Copperwood Pork, and all oh, that, that pork is so good. We think her and true shake are coming to be in vendors in the CD food court. And of course, your contributing sponsors, um, uh, such as Affinity Technology, the Trade Board, Jamaica Customs, Development Bank of Jamaica. In fact, Development Bank of Jamaica has sponsored the GEMS booth. So, 30, as many as 30 small businesses will get a chance to be in those, the, that, that, that village. So they can showcase their products. A tremendous sponsorship by the Development Bank of Jamaica. Um, Inter-American Development Bank, links from National Commercial Bank, Jamaica Special Economic Zone Authority, and of course, Exim Bank. And I can't I can allow this to pass without our mentioning our supporting hotels. They give deals, discounts to um, buyers that are coming in. So if they, if they stay at these participating hotels, um, they get discounts, the turnover on all suites hotel, 
the Courtney Hotel, the Pegasus Hotel, Altamont Court, R Hotel, and AT Hotel Kingston. Nice, nice. So we say big thanks yeah. to all the sponsors and partners. Uh, because you know, you say it, it takes a village, you know, and we need the support of of everyone that is participating. And of course, I love the fact that you mentioned, you know, that you know the small businesses were actually help and to be a part of something this big to showcase uh, their products. So, uh, you know, we say thank you to those sponsors for allowing them, uh, you know, to showcase um, their product to all the buyers um, that will be attending the event. So big up to all the sponsors. Again, you got to lock with your girl DJ Black Barbie are live inside the building. Of course, we have Mr. Durant live on the phone line talking about Expo Jamaica. And I know that, you know, it, it is normally held in Jamaica. Is there any uh, in, in the future for it to be expand, um, say, here in the U.S. so that it'll be traveling or it is always just going to be uh, located in Jamaica for Expo Jamaica? You know what? You have given us a, <laughs> just a good idea, Bobby. Actually, that's how we have never thought of it that way, but that's a big idea you have put into our heads. Mm -hmm. I will put it to the committee mm -hmm. and uh, hear what they say. That's an idea. It really is. Yes, yes. Yes. So we have never thought along those lines. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I mean, you know, when it comes... It's impressive, you know, right? Yeah, I, lo I, I want the best. You know, we, we speak about Jamaica and we want Jamaica to just move into the right direction. And of course, with you guys, you know, being able to come here to showcase what can be showcased. Cause, you know, sometimes you probably now can bring the yam and everything. Yeah, but, you know, there's always ways, right, yes. there's always ways around it, um, of course, to make sure that the buyers know the product and the authenticity of it so that they are, you know, they want to buy. So, yes, make sure that it's traveling 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 yes expo jamaica all over yes. all over because that would definitely bring more buyers to jamaica without a doubt okay so yes, <laughs> I, yes. I want to say a big thank you is there anything else that you'd like to share with radio land um about expo jamaica before you actually leave us Down, you're gonna have a good time if you are uh, if you are in business you're selling whatever you're selling think about it go on the website expojamaica.com.jm register as a buyer come on down it's free the, the, the entry to buyers to the national arena and indoor sports center is free so don't worry about that um, just jump on an airplane and come down and then have a vacation afterwards yes Yes. So thank you very much, Bobby. <laughs> you are so welcome. Yes. And it is truly, truly a pleasure. Hopefully, I'll be able to attend, uh, you know, the next staging. Yes. And hopefully, it's going to be here in the States <laughs> as well, you know, so that, you know, we, like we said, <laughs> yes. we get more business. We get more business to our beautiful island, Jamaica. And again, thank you so much for taking the time off for doing this interview. And we hope that you have a phenomenal, phenomenal event on the 27th. I'm sure we will, and I thank you very much. And I look forward to meeting you next time around, most, in person. Most definitely, most if, definitely. If not, if not, yes. Okay, Bobby, all the best. <laughs> all right, all the best, Mr. Durant. All right, again, big, big thanks to Mr. Durant. Of course, he is, yes, a part of the Expo Jamaica. He is the investment promotions manager and they are doing it really big for island i would love for you guys to go and follow them on instagram that is expo jamaica also visit their website expo jamaica again this is where we get to generate buyers from all over the world to buy from our island so we can export goods to them of course we can support small businesses that come up with great inventions we have talked about uh you know the farmers that are inventing things in jamaica um, you know, basically making game changers, um, you know, a lot of inventions that we have coming out of Jamaica. So we want to be able to support these products. All right. And Expo Jamaica is basically giving a platform for buyers all around the world to come to Jamaica and buy. And we love that. And again, big up to all the sponsors that support the small business owners also to give them that platform so that this networking event 
can actually generate income to Jamaica. We talked about that last week. We know that tourism is a big part of the economy when it comes to Jamaica. But of course, we want to export our goods. We see them. People love it when they come to the island. So why not be able to give them the authentic? authentic Jamaican creation that we have from our yam, the, everything that you could think of that we're growing, uh, the watermelons, everything, the can, banana, everything that we can export in terms of good. All the restaurants that is here, you guys would be able to buy. All you got to do is go on their website yeah, so that we can get the real nice home grown food all right so make sure that you guys support support expo jamaica again follow them on instagram and also log on to their website if you want to be a buyer all you got to do is just follow the drop down menu and put your information in and you guys will be able to purchase so why not get it from yard Yes. So again, big, big thanks to Mr. Ricardo Durant, of course, for taking the time out to do the interview uh, right here. Also want to give a big thanks to one of our uh, pillar in the Jamaican diaspora, Anthony Turner. Uh, he is just phenomenal at what he does. He keeps everyone connected in when it comes to the Jamaican diaspora. So again, big up to Mr. Anthony Turner. Yeah, so you got it locked with your girl DJ Black Barbie here live inside the building. I love it when Jamaica is actually moving in the right direction, of course. And this is what we need. We talk about it here. So this is a step. You want to be a supporter, support this. And again, remember, it is also open up to the patrons. So you guys could go and, uh, you know, check out what they're currently offering, all the invention. You never know. You might want to go and be an investor. All you have to pay is $1,500 for adults, $500 for children. And again, this is in Jamaican currency.